Hey guys, this is John and welcome back to part two. So what this bandolier was is a 12 gauge bandolier uh, from Cambalas. And the reason I picked this one is because it, <clears throat> it has room for uh, shells all the way through the whole thing. And I'll put a link on there for that. But you can see that the, the loops go all the way down to the waist part. It's, it's got loops all the way around. And that's what I was looking for. So what I did was, I ended up um, leaving one space in between each um, grenade and then cutting the stitching so it was big enough for the grenade to go in there and then leaving one loop in between and then cutting the next pair so you have a little bit of space between each one. And if I, I put them in here, it was spaced out. But the way I cut it, you could have put a lot more grenades in there, but looking at the movie, it didn't look quite right, so um, I just chose to stick them in this way, where it was more, probably I didn't have enough grenades because I was in a hurry, but anyway, it looks good once you get all the grenades in there. It looks fairly decent, and this is not um, exactly, this isn't exactly like the movie. The movie one had more buckles in the back, some and you could just go out and find some large buckles and stick it on this, but this was the quick and dirty way to do it. So hopefully you can see this. Basically what you're going to do is, like I would leave a loop, and then you use one of these tools. This is a ripper tool that you can, uh, a stitch, stitch ripper tool that you can get from Walmart. And it has a little, um, a little cutter right in the middle. And you basically just go along and you cut the seams out. It allows you, and I had to, I had to use so like a uh, some extra, like a magnifying glass, and it just allows you to go in and just cut the seams as you go through, and then you just pull the seams out the back or whatever, pull pull the stitching out, and then you end up with uh, with this. Once the seam comes out, you just pull the stitching out here, like there's extra stitching, or just leave it in, whatever. That's pretty simple. So like I say, you just space it out so it's it's got enough in between so they're not bunched together. Otherwise it won't look good if they're all bunched together. So I think I screwed up in the beginning where it wasn't it wasn't together right and I had to re-sew it. <clears throat> so this will the really this is a simple deal. Is it the most time it's gonna take is just for you to cut these stitches out. So once you get done. You'll be able. You should be able to put these right in, and hope. I can't remember if I had to re-sew these, but um, because maybe they were a little loose, you might have to re-sew them. But anyway, quick and simple. Um, I left the regular ones on the back, and um, it's a pretty easy deal. So, uh, you know, click on the links to get the bandolier and everything and then uh, I'll see you in uh, my next my next video thanks for watching